about the career resurgence of Charles Dubrox Oliveira. Cut his teeth in the UFC late 2017. He had lost three of four. Nobody was talking about him. And then he goes on to produce one of the greatest winning streaks in UFC lightweight history. Well, he did a great job uh, just rebuilding, refocusing, shifting the mindset from having issues at times when it got tough to getting through the tough and dominating guys. Many relied on him going back to that guy from before. That guy disappeared on that championship run. Charles Oliveira is a beast. And we will see if tonight he gets his hand raised and he proves once again why he's one of the best light leagues in the world. Don't look for too much in terms of risk management, though. Even given what happened in the Islam Akashev fight, Charles Oliveira is an aggressive, high-octane offensive fighter. And that is the expectation as to what we will see here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. All right, we are back in the Tri-State area tonight. Dateline, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The UFC athletes are here and open for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, champ. From the 76ers to the Devils, you understand the fans in this area know sport. So you better be ready to give them a show tonight or they're going to boo you out of the building. Solid kick right there. Take down defense, holds up. Oh, good block there. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. What a wild start to this fight. In this what a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. Olivera's back in shot control. Changing the position. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, man. Oh, big knee there. Take down defense holds up. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. All of this fight started. These two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Take down defenses there. Oh, spinning back fist. Nice punch there by Oliveira. Just over three minutes now to go. with that jab attempt there. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, that one landed, yep. Change, and there's the ensuing takedown. Beautifully done. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Just over two minutes, round one. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target.
rips the body there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Back to his feet. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice crack there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Huge knee land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Overhand lands. Oh, big knee. Another big knee. Oh, that is a high level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of things. Olivera's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that sub is tight. Oh, he's looking for the finish now. Working again for that submission. It's always going to be a struggle, but this guy's intent on finishing the fight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Changing the position. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Troy gets back up again. Nicely done. in a world of trouble now. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, take a seat. Relaxa, respira. Olha, você tá sendo muito agressivo na luta, tá? Eu tenho que você, você tem que focar. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded bomb. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch now. A little single collar tie there. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Heavy leather lander on both sides of that exchange. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Get right here. Job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over. Olivera's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh my goodness, that Darce choke is very tight. Darce choke locked in, it's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's gotta control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Vera gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Oh. Come on, stay Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. 
so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Head kick there, block. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oliveira's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Lands to the body there. Nice combination on the feet and now works it to a takedown. Oliveira's in half goal. Oh, now he's attacking on triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Nicely done. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that would play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance in the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial arts. Well, he's got his back now. Oliveira's able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back right. to the stool. Yeah. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that in. Oh, and he's attacking choke now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. The Von Flute choke looks like it's in. He's, got, he's done a great job of keeping the shoulder pressure into the neck of his opponent. Right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Oliveira. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Mm, nice. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Ooh, it's tight! Oh, oh, it's 
so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they are... Oh, they are somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big left. Three minutes to go in round three. Oliveira gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. He's got the single collar tie. Another takedown land. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Oliveira. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oliveira's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. About two minutes here to go in round three. Yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oliveira's in half court. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so that he can get pressure to... Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Good work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oliveira's trying to get a triangle here. He's got it. Good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Now he's got to be very patient as he moves to the next position. Get his hips switched. Pull the head down. Oh, wait, he got out. Unbelievable that he was able to survive that triangle attempt. He took slight movements, got off to the right side, got his arm free, and found safety. That was tremendous defense. Lands with the ground and pound. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. 20 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Good work from the top here by Oliveira. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Another ground and pound strike lands. Right. And that'll do it. Right. Fifteen minutes in the books. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oliveira gets caught by the inside. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Touched him with the strike there. 
All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the... Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, nice defense there with the block. He's got the single collar tie. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, huge overhand there. Another punch to the head. Well, that overhand, big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Oliveira goes for the takedown. He misses. Watch it. Now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people do. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on them. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, big left. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Under two minutes to go. Taken down by entry there as he gets another takedown and I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back really using his physicality to his advantage now he lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke oh I'm no expert but that fun flute choke looks locked in oh he's out Troy's got the full mount well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Choi gets hit by that I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay stand and show and talk to your toughness. He's on the back. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Takedown attempt, not there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Push kick there to the body. Went for the inside leg kick. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? 
Ready. Good. It is the fifth and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. DC or so it appears this is not a guy you want anywhere near you back. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dars. Oh, Dars choke locked and loaded. That Dars choke is very tight. What he has to do now is slide that arm up under the neck. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Great job landing from the top position. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oliveira getting worked to the body by that elbow. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman will be proud. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. It's unbelievable. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Choi's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Come on, let's go. Let's work. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Ground and pound strike there now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, my goodness. That dark choke is very tight. Oh, looks tight to me. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Crapper's delight tonight. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Oliveira's in half court. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Choi's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Block that one. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there.
All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Super Bowl.